and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat <laughs> and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos midrange. We have a donation deck here to try a, this Rakdos midrange deck, which looks pretty cool. This is this looks to be a spicy one here. I can say one card I haven't played very much is Rakdos Firewheeler. Um, you know, 4-3 at ETBs deals 2 damage to one opponent and 2 damage to one creature or planeswalker. Pretty cool little card here. You know, like, it can just finish stuff off. As we've seen, like, Chain Whirler's 1 damage ability just be able to finish stuff off. So can Fire Wheeler's 2 damage. It only does 1 uh, planeswalker or creature. But pretty cool little card there. As we, we uh, mentioned earlier in the week, I really like Urox Fenlurker right now. Um... I was I was really impressed with that card playing that one earlier. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how much I'm really gonna like like the gutter bones, the footlight fiend. We'll kind of see though. I guess we want some stuff to sacrifice to Cavalier of Night, but I think I'd rather have some more impactful cards there. But yeah, let's see if we get any damage in here with like Butcher or Cranko. Um, this looks kind of cool. Let's give this a try. Um, mana wise, we got 24 lands. Do have a couple of mobilized districts and some some other dual lands there. Uh, we should switch out our basics. Let's get better basic lands. Forgot to do that after importing. Um, 24 really doesn't seem like enough lands at all with six drops, to be honest. Like This should probably be a 25 land deck, but... Um, You know, like, we're going to play the games. I don't want to change the deck uh, beforehand. Um, and, yeah, three Tybalt in the main. But we'll see. I'm really worried about 24 lands and playing six drops. Very worried about that. But we'll see how it goes. All right, Rakdos midrange. Those are the ones uh, from Mirage. Those basics. All right, here we go. Because who knows? I, I could be wrong there, but... I would say that, like... Like, just a, in a generalization... When... Um, for donation decks that, that viewers submit... Uh, that's the most common thing to make the deck better is adding an adding an additional land. It's a it's a very common thing. It happens all the time. That people don't quite make play enough lands. Alright, here we go. Thanks, Yami. Good draw step there. And yeah, our opening hand here, we had four lands, and with the the deck that I'm a little concerned about hitting land drops, I'm keeping the four lander. Makes it easier to keep a hand with a, a lot of lands because you know you're going to be drawing spells more likely. Yeah, good power. Yeah, the good luck powder is already working. Just in case we need to bedevil instant speed here. You never know. This is looking like more like a Soul Tide control deck with having opt and then cast down. See? They need to put more lands in their deck. Gotta get more lands in your deck. So I need to hit, like, full control. Uh, oh, well, there's the trigger I get to respond to anyway, but...
looks like Sultai Flash, I guess. Yeah, this is Sultai Flash. Cool card. The problem with playing Fire Wheeler is if they counter it. If they would have countered it, then the fen the fen lurker would not have traded with their creature anymore. I mean, I think I just let those trade honestly, and save bedevil. Like, let's say a Bedevil that 2-1 and just deal one damage to them. We're still, like, a long ways away from killing them. I think I should save Bedevil for, like, the wolf. <laughs> yeah, no, no Rakdos, the showstopper in here. That would be a cool one, though. Hmm. So, 100% chance Phoenix gets countered. It's just 100%. Okay, maybe not 100. Ugh. Now we don't have the Bedevil to protect against the Wolf, so now if they have a Wolf, they get to just play it. Okay, not 100%. Nissa? A little random. My Locked. I can help you no longer. <laughs> ben, you're you're trying to like play you're using your mouse trying to play the land. <laughs> Phoenix. All right, one game in, hit hit plenty of land drops. No complaints there. So Chandra against Flash deck, pretty great. Liliana, not so much. Um, Duress. Yeah, Duress definitely seems like something I want to be playing. Legion's End, like, has a one good, really good target with, like, the Cutthroat, but of course it is Sorcery Speed. Let's see, Gutterbones, Footlight Fiend, Tybalt, Cavalier of Night. All cards I'm not too high on here, especially Tybalt.
Like, that's an easy cut. So that it's basically, do I want to play, like, Daredevil? I kind of think I want to play Daredevil. Like, instead of, like, some of these one-drops or instead of Cavalier of Night. Go one Cavalier. One Fiend. Yeah, this this was a so yeah, Matt. This is a donation deck. So this was a, a viewer submitted deck list. Um, so I don't have like reasons why that there are some cards instead of other cards, kind of thing. Um, I know playing a viewer submitted list, seeing how it goes. I do love me some Eurox Fen Lurker, but we just want to butcher. But yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion. I think Knight of the Ebon Legion would be a more impactful card to play than the other one drops that we have in the deck. I would rather have Knight of the Ebon Legion. So are you, Lindrake? Hey, Gatsby, good evening. Sir Eulen Drakes. They could s sacrifice a Drake to counter that. Huh. That was not the expected outcome of casting duress. They're like, I could show you my cards, I could sacrifice a drake, or I could go home. Chose, I guess option number C is always an option. And they chose option number C. There. One no. Ooh, I like this Fen Lurker. Hopefully we draw lands. <laughs> I'm gonna well, I'm gonna start running duress in the main. I had no idea it said win game. Well, it's always a response. You never know. You know, we play the Bloodfell Caves, we gain a life. Either our opponent's going to let us gain that life, let that trigger resolve, or maybe they just concede and, and pick their cards up and go home. You never know. So you got to put all your triggers on the stack, cast all your cards, put them on the stack. You never know. Opponents could just go home. Option number C sounds like something from back in the 
Back to the Future. What do we exile over here? A forest? Cranko! <laughs> Duress is my win con. Look at your deck. Where's your win con? Oh, it's Duress. It's over there. <laughs> yeah, it could be Mono Green Feather. I guess okay I didn't I didn't think of this I mean I should have if I because I, if I start I was thinking like if I draw the land we could like double strike the troll to kill it but if we strike the troll they have to remove the one one counter so then it turns into a two two so then my Cranko, which is um you know which turns into a two three with the attack So yeah, I could have like attacked with Cranko, they block Cranko, then I then I strike the troll, then they give Hexproof. The thi that plan goes away, I guess, if they have giant growth though. Wow, bold attack. As far as win cons go, I'm into duress. <laughs> I guess they don't care if I attack with Cranko. Get some blockers. And lurkers are good. They just take all of the cards out of your opponent's hand. They just don't have cards anymore. They could have like Vine Mare. Are they trying to be like hexproof? And be like a boggle deck. Yeah, because like enchantments do count towards that as well. That was not a good play. I mean, I guess they just want to draw the two cards, but... I mean, our opponent really should, just shouldn't be attacking. Crinko against the mono green deck with no removal. Cranko owns. Hmm. Whoops. All right, so taking out Tybalt. I just don't, don't really want to play that card in this matchup. Which means, I guess I'm playing, I'm playing either Legion's End or Duress, I guess. That's my option for removal. Chandra, too expensive. I'm going to play two Duress and a Legion's End. Yeah, I don't think we need to daredevil their pump spells. I don't think 
we need that. That is true. Duress is a win con. Does give our deck a win con. Hmm. All right, let's keep. Might as well ditch Blood Crypt instead of Bloodfell Caves. We're, we can just we're playing a land tapped turn one anyway. Might as well gain a life out of it. Tis the season of growth. Yeah, I don't I don't think our opponents really we haven't seen any like real enchantments. I think they're just more like pump spell kind of thing than enchantment kind of thing. No, gruel decks are definitely not dead, and especially with um in a few days, I guess about five days or so, whenever rampaging for Ocidon, Re-enters the format. That's going to be a really good card for Gruel decks. So plan here, like, they block use Pump Spell, then I use Removal. If only Cranko wasn't Legendary. Get another Cranko out there. Just keep cranking out crankos. I feel like that should probably be a thing, cranking out crankos. Yeah, Magic Arena is, is not a, a single-player game. So it is like Hearthstone where you're playing against somebody else. In that aspect, yeah. not it's not necessarily pay to win I don't, I don't know how hearthstone is in that respect but it's there are definitely better cards than others and like better decks like but there's a there's a pretty wide variety of decks that you can be playing but um But yeah, so you can like grind to those cards or, uh, you know, pay for decks right away. No, you can you can start arena for free and and you know you can start your account for free and start grinding and everything. Yeah, we'll just do the fun thing. We'll go Lily. My army will envelop. Let's reduce the battle. They were a lousy servant. I'll find a use for you later. I don't, I, we're, we're just facing like green cards I own, you know, like we're facing a kind of
kind of a beginner deck. Beginning player. But it's pretty cool. They're doing their thing. I feel like we should kill somebody with a Rakdos Fire Wheeler. Not. Rakdos Fire Wheeler. Two damage. Wait, could I not target the Liliana? It's gonna kill Liliana too. But then I didn't want to take too long. It didn't really look like it right away, and I didn't want to like be be too rude and and take too long trying and so I just hit okay twelve gobos All right, play first. All right, hit that button. Okay, we have a keepable hand. So is Kramer going to see any play in the sideboard versus Field of the Dead? Just like sideboard because Field of the Dead doesn't have very much removal? Is that what you mean? I think there's there's probably just better sideboard cards. More better, more impactful sideboard cards to be playing. In that case, though. But speaking of Field of the Dead, it looks like we got Banned Scapeshift here. Alright, Yami. Have a good night. This thing costs four to activate without any legendaries in play. And nope, don't have anything better to do than just activate Fenlurker. Good turn for our opponent. Alright, so they're looking for next turn to be their escape shift turn. So, if I activate Mobilize District and just attack with that, we're doing eight, putting them down to five. And then Double Lightning Strike doesn't kill them. Like, like, they can get enough gain life lands to survive that. So let's get, let's get Phoenix in play where Phoenix can be a flying creature. And Securitas Route is really good. All right, so we'll see how many life gain lands they get. Hopefully two or less. Hopefully that number is two or less. Is 
That looks like two. They gained two life. There, put him up to ten. I got double lightning strike. That is game. That's pretty good, turn five. Turn five making 40 zombies is usually pretty good. But if I would have attacked with Mobilized District that last turn, we would have been dead because we would have only dealt three damage instead of four, like Phoenix did. So playing Phoenix for the win. Yeah, our deck's been working out real well so far. So I guess we got Legion's End and Ashiox coming on in. Stealing game one is quite nice. I still don't think we want Tybalt. They do have some life gain, though, with, you know, Krasis and uh, the gain life lands. That's kind of about it, though. I uh, do want all these Duresses. Don't really want Liliana. <sighs> Chandra can do some work. Um, not sure about Cavalier of Night. Don't really want to play this Footlight Fiend. It's just not very impactful. So we're going to play one of these cards. Which one do we want to play? Do we want to play Elder Spell? Which one of these cards do we want to play? Like Tybalt. Tybalt, Elder Spell, Liliana. Probably not Liliana. Could see playing Daredevil. Yeah, I mean, we could just Daredevil their ramp cards. I like it. We'll go Daredevil. Could, like, definitely could have, like, Time Wipe, you know, and we could Daredevil Time Wipe. Cavalier's not a, not a flyer. Oh, Cavalier's on the ground. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind having it. Come on, deck, get that land. Get that land. Really want to play Cranko here. Come on, deck, one land, one land. Yay! Franco. Probably just play Daredevil there, honestly. Ugh, gross. Probably should just play Daredevil.
I don't know, maybe not. Because if they have a sweeper, I'd be glad I didn't play it. Still at 18. Wow. Another two zombies. Alright, so now we'll have, if we draw two more lands, we'll have Daredevil Time Wipe. But beating three Field of the Deads from here is going to be pretty impossible. This game's over. The dinosaur is not legal on Arena until... Um, until September 4th. It's like the next update, next change. Of course, the, the the really obvious card that's missing from our deck, of course, is Blood Sun, but I understand not uh, playing Blood Sun if, if that's like a consideration for not wanting to craft them for rotation coming up in less than a month now. Here we go. Blood Sun's a lot better than Alpine Moon. If if you need us, if you have access to both, play. Play Blood Sun. So that's a Nambo with Daredevil, but that's more like it. <clears throat> I guess I should have just cast a growth spiral real quick. Yeah, I should have I should have done that. Should have done Daredevil Growth Spiral. But this is lethal. No, don't exile him. I can play this as a blocker, but they just have Teferi to bounce my blocker. All right, going to game three. Go Fire Artisan. Let's go Fire Artisan. Let's go Fire Artisan. I could see ultimating Chandra Fire Artisan. We'll do that instead of Daredevil for that last card. Yeah, I think so. I think there's going to be a, a new card similar to Blood Sun or something. I think there's going to be something printed that's good against Field of the Dead. I'm not expecting I'm not expecting them to have like rotation and try to have a brand new standard format that people are all excited about 
and then it's Field of the Dead everywhere again. That will turn off a lot of people and be pretty bad for, for wizards. So... Uh, So not really expecting that to happen. Doesn't mean that it won't, it certainly could. But similar to the set immediately after Wilderness Reclamation, we just had Teferi that shut it down. I'm kind of expecting um, something to shut down Field of the Dead. And I don't know what that could be. Probably a similar to Blood Sun type card. This is pretty unreal. Like they're like a probably a 29 or 30 land deck. And they're just not playing lands. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready. They've just drawn so many spells in a row. It's getting a little warm in here. They have at least 28 lands. So all these are like more than 50% chances of drawing land. We were really lucky that game. But we'll take it. We're three now. Oh yeah, I mean we've been on the other side of that for sure. We've been on the other side of that, especially that last round though with the mono red cannons with our twenty two lands of just having eight lands every single game with our twenty two land deck. So yeah, we've been on the other side, but we'll take it. We'll take that one. Yeah, Alpine Moon stops one singular land that you can name. You can name Field of the Dead, but the problem is all the Field of the Dead decks are playing Blast Zone, and they can they can find Blast Zone. And Blast Zone starts with one counter, Alpine Moon costs one mana, and Blast Zone blows it up. And it's therefore it's just not reliable. Where Blood Sun stops all of their lands from doing stuff. It stops all these scry lands. You know, like that's that's a big thing. Not letting them do all these scry to the bottom and stuff like that. Um, it stops Blast Zone from working. Just all it like stops their gain life lands, like just shut off all the lands. Plus, it replaces itself as well. You get to draw a card. Also, Alpine Moon can also fix their mana because Alpine Moon turns whatever land you you name into a five color land. So sometimes they can use that that Field of the Dead as a colored land that helps them out as well. No Pithing Needle or Sorcerer's Spyglass. Those do not stop Field of the Dead. That's, they're not activated abilities. It's just a it's a triggered ability. The only thing to fear, the more, the messier. If you're not sure what activated abilities are, um, if you look like. So this is not, no, like, there has to be a cost for an activated ability. Like, there's no cost here. An activated ability, you can see they have. it always has a colon. Like, see, these are activated abilities here. See how this has um, tap, do that. Now, that's just a mana ability because it adds mana. But things that don't add mana, you can stop with, like, Spyglass. Like, this second part here, that part there, like, the, like those are activated abilities.
So that's how you can kind of look for activated abilities if you're not sure if something's an activated ability or not. Planeswalkers, like my planeswalker, like these planeswalkers, how I have like this this full art thing, you can't really see, but there are colons here. It's plus two and then colon and then it does stuff. Like these are all activated abilities. Keeping this Cavalier Knight for your rock to be able to to be able to uh, you know, like sacrifice one of these like Footlight Fiends, kill your rock, kill the Rejuvenator if they play that this next turn, or Cavalier Thorns. So assuming they're getting your rock back. Oh, they're just getting field of the dead. All right. Cuz your rock would be able to minus 5 in exile. It's harder to exile cavalier thorns. with it starting at six loyalty. They do probably have another Assassin's Trophy, considering they use the other one on Tybalt so quickly. Hmm, or not. So if I, Chandra minus three, Four, five, six. Yeah, this will work. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Check out these fireworks. We'll get these two triggers here. Do six damage to them. Now we got the strike. They're at three. They're going to need a Thought Erasure to stay alive. And then they also need a way to deal with Chandra after Thought Erasure. Well, they have the Thought Erasure. If there's anything they can have, which just breeding pool, blast zone. Make some more room to fight in. <laughs> that is classic. That is classic me. They need X card. Dang, they had X card. That's classic. All right, good job, Chandra. That was a good close game there. I feel like I'm kind of back. I've, I've been playing really well today, I feel like. Like, earlier in the week, had a couple of rough days. I wasn't playing so good. But I feel like I've been playing a lot better today. Don't really know what we're going to do here. Honestly. Probably, I guess Daredevils. Yeah, we want Dare Daredevil for trophy.
Maybe not these dresses. Let's just try this. Yeah, Virulent Plague. That'd be a good card to have. Yeah, I wish they would have printed Virulent Plague. That would have been perfect. Couldn't really see them taking anything here. Like, probably not Krenko since we have a backup and we only have two lands. But I could could really see any of the other ones. But even Krenko, I wouldn't have been that surprised if they took Krenko. Come on, land. Well, first game of the league that we have really got stuck on lands, which we knew was going to happen at some point with only playing 24. At least it hasn't happened too much. No five mana creature, please. Darn. I don't have my five mana creature this time to kill it. Dang, rejuvenators are two for two with grabbing Field of the Deads. Really good play against Cavalier of Night. So they have backup Yurok. So probably grow spiral here. So I'm kind of expecting Cranko to die. Ooh no, they just let me attack. Order. 
That may cost them. We have been getting pretty fortunate this league. Pretty fortunate for sure. Because, yeah, they just order that correctly. We don't get to keep our Krenko alive. Blast zone. That was the best land to hit. That immediately gets two counters on it for Krenko also. That was the best land to hit. I mean, that's still just game though, right? Actually, we'll see. They can blow up Gutter Bones right now. Okay, yeah, so they just did that. So yeah, that's game because of Legion End. Wow, and we just, we're just top decking great anyway. Man, Krankos have been so good for us. Krankos have been so good for us in this league. All right, here we go. Final boss time. This has been a league where, like, everything that could go right has gone right kind of thing. Final boss... We have not defeated the final boss the last few days. Like, every time, like, you know, mono red ca cannons. We were 4-0 and then went loss-loss. So we're 4-0 again. This is a tough... It's a tough match. It's always hard beating this final boss. All right, here we go. Temple of Scryumph. Getting that temple in there. Go on deck, get us some lands. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a coincidence. Open minded loser. That doesn't happen very often. I think I think the best deck that we played today though was the mono red cannons. But record wise it does look like we've been just improving every single league. But we started 4-0 with that deck also. They can't have a 1-0 in play. Judge, they're cheating. Ugh. We knew our 24 lands was going to get us down at some point. And it finally happened. Let's just move on. So 
we'll have the three legions ends and the four duresses and could daredevil we could daredevil um as far as cards we don't want like always let's take out this tibolt first thing out don't really love the one drops here either so yeah one drops can kind of go the one drops do make cavalier of night better though Gonna trim one Cavalier. Kind of want to take out another Cavalier and play another Chandra. No. We'll go with this. All right, here we go. Game number two. All right, we got spells we can cast, and we have lands to cast them. I've been keeping all of like the four and five land hands. Make sure we can play our spells. All right, they're going down to five this time. Maybe we'll get an, an easier win. It's un like they ha they usually play a lot of removal, so it's unlikely that Cranko just survives against them. But you never know. Maybe we can do our kingpin stuff. I like where your head's at, Garon. Saying Krenko will survive. I like where your head's at. Yeah, we're on our final boss, Thermal Dragon. But, but down a game. We've lost around like six matches in a row or so to final bosses in the last few days. Still looking for that elusive five win league here. Ooh, Cranko survived. So far. So far. We go. All right, good attack. We get a couple of one ones that are awesome against the Dante Vanguard. So they got top out for that. So we'll untap the Devil Feather. Attack with Cranko again. And it looks like we're going to game three. Let's 
not look, it's looking really good for us. Going to game three. Hopefully we can finish off this 5-0. That would be great. Let's go. That was a good draw. Wow, their hand is stacked. This hand is stacked. Um, their hand's a lot better than ours. Um, I mean, it's either God's Willing or Reckless Rage. It doesn't like really matter because if they attack, you know, attack with the Arcanist, they can, you know, they play Feather, attack with Arcanist, they can put it back in their hand. We definitely need to hope that they don't. Certainly hoping they don't draw white mana here and get to play Feather. Really hoping no white mana. Darn it. All right, well, this is probably game. Unless we draw a bedevil, uh, this is game. And if we do, it's going to be tough. But we we certainly have to draw a bedevil. Immediately. Nope. So we have no chance of winning this game anymore. We really don't. With them protecting their feather with God's willing, um, and then obviously just growing their things, they have like you know just can kill a creature every t turn with reckless rage. We could like play it out, but there's there's no chance that we can possibly win. There really isn't. Um, like our only instant speed removal, like we said, is like bedevil, but they're always gonna have the. God's willing up. Um, we could draw Liliana, Liliana, six mana Liliana, but we'd be dead by then anyway because of Gird for battle. So yeah. And that's also assuming they don't have any other creature ever. That was a loaded, loaded hand they had there. They got me. 
I have one. I had one window there. Turn three to kill Feather. That was my one window. Didn't have removal for Feather on turn three. And so we died. Alright, final boss part two. Alright, Tibble, you better do something. I know I've sideboarded you out every single game. But that's led you to this moment right here. This is your time to shine, Tybalt. It's your time to shine. Do it. Win us this game one, please. Temple of Epiphany. Whole bunch of different decks that could be. You know, from Teamer to Grixis. Different types of Teamer. Could be four color for like the Elementals. All right, looking like Elementals. All right, Caesar, I'm trying. So, I would be think we're going to be relying on Rekindling Phoenix this game. Don't want to see kind of any of their cards. Don't want to see Risen Reef. Don't want to see Omnath. Don't want to see Cavalier Thorns. Honestly, kind of want them just to have lands... And not really any spells. Maybe you can have like a mana creature or two. There you go. That's what you can have. You can have mana creature. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. Tough call here, Cranko or Phoenix. Go Phoenix. Just think Cranko is going to get blocked. You know, blocked and killed. Or I think Phoenix has a better chance in the air getting damage in. And if they do have Omnath, Cranko gave him a really good Omnath target. Pretty likely no Omnath with them playing the land first, though. Maybe not. Well, yeah, let's see. Okay, or they just play the land first. Oh, they had to play it for the color. Good call. Good call. Right. It's true. Because they had... It was the rootbound crag. Not as good as Chupacabra. Chupacabra killing Omnath would have been better. But Chupacabra is also not a 4-3. So there's that. That does destroy a good... Does get rid of a good amount of mana for them if they're going to be playing like a big crisis here. Now, Tibalts are... Probably our worst card in our deck. Uh, 
Hello? There's backup Omnath. Well, it's kind of like chupacabra that other Omnath, because I just had a new one. Yeah. Don't gain that life. Look at that Tibble go. Said you can't gain life. Yeah, good call. Yeah, that was a desperation Omnath. Yeah, that was not was not the worst for us. New tortures are needed. Ooh. Okay. Don't really need to just snap a devil anything. They could have, you know, Krasis or Cavalier Thorns, things that like block Phoenix. That's better to bedevil. This is a heck of a turn. Mostly. Don't worry. Mostly. I brought company. <laughs> yeah, this is from Legend of Zelda 2, the temple theme. Draw a burn spell to finish them off. Lightning strike? No. Just have two cards. So yes, they're gonna make the obvious blocks. We do five to them. I'm gonna kill Omnath with this trigger here. So they're down just to... They're down just to three. Won't be able to gain life. In case of Krasis. I just have now the three cards in hand. This is close. I 
That was a real close one. Go get him, buddies. Chandra awakened Inferno. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. That's gonna kill Phoenix. Kills Tybalt. Whoa, Tybalt was great then. So now they want Krasis for three. They gain one life. Pretty sure that was not the play. That play just leaves him dead. Pretty sure just exiling the Phoenix. I don't know. That was tough. Like, if they would exile the Phoenix, just like tap this six man uh, to play that, exile the Phoenix, and keep these two creatures back to block, they don't die. We gotta use this mobilized district. We haven't used it yet. But the, that line definitely wasn't it. I guess they no, they would die because of my mobilized district, so they would have died. I don't know if they had a, a line there to, to keep them alive. If that was just their only card was the six man Chandra. All right, well we stole a game. Let's see if we can steal another. So I don't want Tybalt, but I don't really know what of any of these other cards I want, to be honest. Legion's End's good against Krasis, but that's kind of about it. I don't really want a Legion's End mana creatures, I don't think. Could play Elder Spell. That's not great. Maybe one Legion's End, two Duress. Could go Fire Artisan. See, this is kind of a problem because they're playing elementals. So, like, this minus three doesn't do anything. So, this is only plus two and minus X for us here. My cards don't love. Maybe I should get rid of more of the one drops and just play like extra Legion's Ends and like the four mana Chandra since all their stuff's like damage based. All right, we'll take it. And we beat the final boss. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Rakdos Gates over here. Thanks, Blue Jin. They have Field of the Dead in their deck? Well, might as well, I guess.
Fenlurker. Go get a card. So they missed a land drop. I am in need of rest. Look at that, getting a Nissa. Can we hit our land drops? No. Yeah, Feather is really tough to beat when you play a bunch of creatures. It's just tough to beat. It's the kind of deck, like, whenever they have their stuff, they kind of got you. And that the lock they have you in, like, lasts for a while, and, and you have, like, no hope. All right, well, that was a great draw for us with the mountain. So now we got the fire wheeler turned on. This is the Rakdos scoop wheeler. Ah, oh, Veil of Summer. That counts. That's black and red. No more Veil of Summer. I'm really liking our chances here. Ooh. Liking it even more. Final boss defeated. Haven't heard Gonna Fly now in a little while. Get that victory fanfare. Yeah, this this one was a donation deck, so this was not the throwback Thursday decks like the others. We had a donation deck here. Yeah, we got all right. So basically, everything that could go right went right for us in this league. Um, we had uh, the last two matches that we had. Both of our game three wins were our, our opponents getting mana screwed, um, but uh, and then we had we had a couple of of like newer decks earlier. We had we had a lot of good draws, um, a lot of timely draws there. Things went really well for us, uh, but kind of going forward with the deck, I, I want to see something better than Tybalt in here. That's the that's like step number one. Need to get a more impactful card there. Uh, Krenko was really good for us because our opponents were not killing our Krenkos. Krenko was was really good for us. I liked Fenlurker Butcher. I'm not really big on these one drops. I would I would prefer Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, I know like Cavalier or Knight, you want to sacrifice stuff, so having these are like good to sacrifice. But Cavalier or Knight was like okay for us, but it was it was kind of just like worse than Chupacabra, or it was like well it was like pretty even with Chupacabra. The reason why Cavalier of Knight was so good for us is because we were always attacking with Cranko, so we had like extra goblins from Cranko to sacrifice for Cavalier of Knight, but. I'm not sure if it was really better than Chupacabra uh, would have been, like, overall. Hey, what's up, Samuel? Yeah, uh, on, yeah, Rampaging Ferocidon would be perfect. Whenever, you know, like in a few days, um, September 4th, after the update, you'll be able to play Rampaging Ferocidon in Standard. That that can replace Tybalt perfectly. That's that's a much, much better card for the deck. Um, no, I wouldn't want Bantu. Uh, no, I, w I would want, like, like the Cavalier being a removal spell was key. Like, we need that to keep being the removal spell. Like, it would just be, like, maybe Chupacabra instead. But I'm perfectly fine keeping 
Cavalier of Night, honestly. Because sacri- you know, sacrificing the, the Krenko tokens, sacrificing Fenlurker, sacrificing Dreadhorde Butcher, these are all you know decent things to sacrifice. So I'm fine with keeping Cavalier of Night. But yeah, I, I think I'd want like Knight of the Ebon Legion instead of these. Um, especially instead of the Gutter Bones. I, I can understand if you want to keep a Footlight Fiend or two um, because of Footlight Fiend's synergy with be, like with Cavalier of Night, but um, and like how it can do that extra damage is, is, is kind of cool and stuff. But yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion that should be in here. Oh, Cranko and Cranko and Ferocidons and Donbo. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, well, yeah, I didn't think about that. Fire Wheeler was pretty cool. I liked Fire Wheeler. That was a good card. Phoenix obviously is always great. We did a, we had a, I mean, we got pretty fortunate of just like always hitting our land drops. Like for the most part, we had a couple of games, but you know, we got to our six mana cards fairly easily. Um, not having Blood Sun in the sideboard kind of hurt, but like I'd rather have Blood Sun than Ashiok. But I understand if it's like just a, you know, a, a consideration of not wanting to, to craft Blood Sun um for you know one month so i that's certainly a consideration that i understand um but i'm not too big on ashiok in this kind of deck because it it just doesn't help kill the opponent uh, <clears throat> i i would kind of rather have i don't know something else that helps kill the opponent than a- like i just don't think ashiok helps you helps you really at all against anybody even against scapeshift it's pretty easy for them to kind of deal with, with Ashiok before casting Scapeshift. Most Field of the Dead decks, as we saw like when we played against like the other one, like Soultite, most of the Field of the Dead decks are not uh, Scapeshift these days. Um, so, yeah, but we had the Legion's Ends. Those were awesome. I would have mind like a fourth Legion's End. Like, you know, we, we, we were pretty fortunate to draw like the legions end when we would like instead of the ashiox just have a fourth legions end and then and then some other more impactful card uh somewhere else but so yeah that those are those are the things i i would want to change about the deck the ashiox the tibolts and the one drops those are like the big things um but everything else worked pretty well for us i'd have to say worked pretty well all right uh so there we go so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it and if so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there i would really appreciate those also leave a comment on the video i always like seeing the comments even though i may not respond to all of them but i always like seeing y'all uh leave comments um yeah but there we go that's rakdos midrange so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video